students at class sixth onwards they study this uh, sequence of operations you know one has to apply to solve such expressions and even the students at higher level they commit a lot of errors in getting to the final answer in this one now there has to be a reason for this uh, the only reason which i can think of is lack of practice and little bit confusion in application of this important concept a bracket of divide multiply add and subtract this is the operation sequence which one has to follow to solve this now let us apply this sequence here now see there are three brackets here this is simple bracket this is curly bracket and this is square bracket so first we have to solve the simple bracket then the curly brackets and then the square brackets that is well known to everybody and sometimes we have this of you know we need to solve this also of means multiply so we need to multiply this remove this of also now in this sequence of steps there are some steps which can be done simultaneously you know it is not necessary that we carry on with one step at a time because in competitive exams you need to save time so i will try and solve this using lesser number of steps so that you can save time in competitions now what i will do for getting to the answer for this one is this 7 plus will come at the end obviously see this 13 plus 6 has nothing to do with any other operation so even if i get, go to direct a in this case it won't make a difference to any other steps so 13 plus 6 i can write directly as 19 minus 3 into and now add and subtract these are two steps which can be done simultaneously either you can subtract 2 minus 1 1 plus 5 6 or you can add 2 plus 5 7 7 minus 1 6 it doesn't make any difference so here also you can say one step so this is 6 and now we have removed one bracket and the question reduces to exactly half let's see now the next step 7 plus and now 6 3 is 18 is very clear 19 minus 18 is 1 so another bracket removed and now this square bracket does not make any difference 7 plus 1 is 8 so this kind of problem you know you can solve it orally also without writing all these steps in competitions but students at basic level they are taught that they have to do one operation at a time so let's apply this here see 20 into 10 multiply and add obviously we, we have to multiply first and add later so we can multiply this i am going to directly multiply in spite of the fact that i have division also here so i don't want to divide first i have to remove the brackets bracket off so bracket this is 20 into 10 200 plus 500 divided by 200 minus now this is 150 so I'll remove this bracket 150 so one bracket is gone and now 200 plus 500 divided by so this comes out to be 50 and we all know that 500 divided by 50 is 10 so 200 plus 10 your answer for the question is 210 so this is the second question so two easy questions and now we can apply this concept to solve this question also third now see here we have to remove the brackets see 125 minus 4 into this is 5 into so 3 minus 1 is 2 7 minus 2 is 5 so see all brackets are gone now in a single step and now we can solve this very very easily because we need to multiply before we need we subtract because subtraction is the last operation so 5 5 is a 25 4 is a 100 so answer for the question is 25 so another very simple question and now we have a off here see whenever we have a off now see plus divide minus divide comes first so i will divide this and I will open this bracket also simultaneously. So 32 plus 16 divided by 4 is 4 minus 3 of 2. 3 of 2 means 3 into 2. That is 6 minus. See so many operations I am doing simultaneously. Here 6 minus. Now this bracket 9 minus 4 is 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. 
so we don't need this curly bracket also we can remove that here like this so we have only 3 of 2 is 6 and minus 9 minus 4 is 5 6 minus 5 is 1 so here 32 plus 4 is 36 minus 6 minus 5 this 6 minus 1 is 5 so your answer for the question is 30 so this is 12 plus square bracket 55 plus 9 minus curly bracket 7 into small bracket 8 plus 2 minus 3 see we have all the three kinds of brackets here so we need to open the first bracket first now see the order i have already told you this is the first this is the second and this is the third this is the priority in which we have to open the brackets now in the first question you can see that the terms 8 plus 2 minus 3 these three terms are in the small brackets so we we'll need to solve this see 8 plus 2 is 10 10 minus 3 is 7 so this bracket is solved and 7 is the result now the remaining part 12 plus 55 plus 9 minus now this 7 and 7 into this bracket 7 is 49 so in the curly brackets we have 49 now so one bracket is gone now the question is very simple 55 plus 9 you can add this 64 minus this curly brackets has no meaning now so you can remove it directly and then 12 plus this is 64 minus 49 that is 15 so 27 is the answer for this question likewise you can solve this question also see we have two small brackets here first i will write the result of adding or subtracting these so this is 9 minus 4 5 so i'll remove this bracket now multiply by 5 plus this is 4 minus 1 3 so sequence of steps is very important once you know the sequence of steps then these results are very easy so now we have 5 plus this is 2 into 5 and this bracket also now we can remove 5 plus 3 8 and in the sequence of steps we have addition and multiplication so multiplication comes first m a so we have to multiply these three numbers so 5 plus 5 to the 10 plus 8 80 so our answer for the question is 85 let's have one more question of this kind see this is 3 plus 13 minus now we have similar curly and the small brackets here so i'll solve this small bracket 3 plus 13 minus curly brackets 5 plus 2 minus now see small brackets now we have 7 of 2 of means multiply so 7 into 2 is 14 plus 3 minus 5 3 5 into 3 is 15 so we have simplified off and multiply here now we can get rid of the small bracket here 13 minus 5 plus 2 minus see 14 plus 3 is 17 17 minus 15 is 2 so the small bracket is gone now now we will solve the curly brackets so in the curly bracket we have this 2 cancels plus 2 and minus 2 so we have 3 plus large bracket 13 minus only 5 is in the curly bracket so we can remove that curly bracket so 3 plus 13 minus 5 is 8 so that answer is 11 for the question so friends you can find lots of questions in class 6 books and obviously in internet also on internet also you find a lot of questions of board mass practice them because these are very common questions for all competitive exams like clerical grade exams then um, rrb banking exams everywhere you find questions of simplification using board mass so if you like the video do share it and subscribe the channel